And we'll go back to career builds here. This is episode 201. So we're back with the Karana plan. Um, I think I'm going to keep doing some building here. I'm really enjoying working on this and building, so I might as well stick with it. Um, fix the door. It was, um, I had accidentally deleted a couple blocks back in here, and it was tripping the, um, the meter, and that was causing it. So it was doing its job. It was keeping the door locked so I couldn't get in when it thought there was water in there, but there was no water in there. So, um, so let's go ahead and keep working on this. So let's work on the lab next. So we'll do shower here, I think. And uh, we don't need a shower, I don't think. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm not really. I don't think we need a shower. Let's try to get a toilet um, figured out here. I don't want this to take 100 years, so I, I kind of do want to go do some mission business. So. Let's go ahead. Let's not make this take too long. Just kind of want to make this um, somewhat of a serviceable toilet. And you know what I might do? Um, as usual, make things more complicated. Yep. Uh, I was trying to think how to set this up in the corner, but I think I like the way I had it there. Okay. Yeah. Make sure I don't have symmetry on. Nope, symmetry's off. Good. All right, so there's our little toilet. And generally the labs are completely all the way to the ground. Now it looks a little unfinished in game, but um, you know what we'll do? I think we'll do this instead. This will kind of... Yeah, I think that'll be better. Yeah, I'll put a that there. There we go. That looks good. Yeah, detailing can really kind of can really build make the build. All right. Um, I have a head there. And let's just put a corner sink in here. That's kind of how I want to do the lab, but it's not bad there, like this. And then we'll grab this brown color in here. So I fixed the bed as well. That wasn't a big deal. I also limited it to about 50%. Um, you know what I'll do here? I'm going to make these um, halves just to cut down the weight. Do some, we'll do some weight savings here because I don't want to uh, have issues with weight. So that's my little cabinet there for my sink. All right, good. And let's figure out a faucet here. Do a silver. Let's not do that. Let's go ahead and do... Um, oh, come on. Rotate the right way. I'm all, it's in the corner, so I'm kind of like, my angle is screwy. That's, we know what that is. Um, we're getting too particular here. Ok, 
getting too particular here. I don't want to get overly particular here. Uh, I'll go the other way, please. Yeah, I like the angle I'm at. It's, it's just kind of screwing me up a little bit. Do this wall color. All right, so there's a little bit of a lab here. Let's see if I can get in out of there. Um, we'll do lights later. I'm not all that worried about it. We'll just do a slide on the side. I'm not going to overplay this. Um, let me try to find out what a mirror color is. Uh, D4, uh, let's see. So I just looked one up. So let's do this really quick. I want to go do that um, repair mission. Won't screw around this time. We'll actually get out there and uh, oh, stop taking pictures. Just end up with not enough pictures to do what I need to do. So um, there's a little mirror. Could put the mirror um, put the mirror above the head. There we go. A little mirror. Uh, what is a two by two? It is two by two. Let's do kind of a different silver color just for a little contrast. Oh, come on, man. Killing me here. Why? What is this interacting with? Is it the door? You're ruining my hopes and dreams here, guy. Um... Do a brown frame, kind of like a. Oh my God! How is this interacting with the roof there? What is this interacting with? How is that interacting? I just don't get it. Like if I go up, what is it interacting with? The ceiling? Okay, you you pasted there fine, ding dong. Why? Okay, it didn't want to paste there for some strange reason. Let's. Let's friggin' stick it in there. Um, friggin' annoying that. Yeah, see, like, now it's fine. No idea. Okay. Yeah, just come on. Straight up flat, right? All right. All right, so there's our little mirror. Uh, paint that. Don't want to spend all day in here. All right, so lab is serviceable. All right, good. Let's. I just want to get some more stuff in here. Um, kind of put the med section back. I think I want the med section forward. Living quarters back here. Um, let's put a demarcation behind these seats. So we'll put a wall in here. Do I put a door as a question? Uh, I don't know if I want a door or not. Probably not. Let's go without, and then uh, if we if I feel like a later, I will. Symmetry, please. Thank you. All right. Uh, there, there. All right. Let's go ahead and cut it in. I cut those two blocks first to kind of see where I was going to put that. Give it a little shape. Do a little bit of... I'll do color contrast later. All right, so there's our center. There's, there's a door. Just kind of a doorway. Um, let's start working on medical equipment here. Have a medical bed. I don't want to. Thank you very much. Much as I don't want to put it here, it's kind of. Oh, you're gonna cause problems, right? There's no reason why you shouldn't be able to just sit where that where that is. But you're gonna. Oh, I know why it's not doing that. Okay, let me look. Do I hate that it's sticking into my roof line? I do. I don't know why it's doing that. It's just not thrilled with it that it's doing it. Put it there.
Alright. And ton of equipment. Uh, let's do white, I think. I think we'll keep that white. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and do start doing some equipment here. Defibrillator. Let's go ahead and do med packs. First aid kit, whatever you want to call it. So this will be make it so that we can do nice rescues. All right. All right. We'll kind of I'm gonna whiten the walls here. Just see if I like that. Kind of make it. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, we'll keep white sheet. Looks a little unfinished, but um, yeah, you can kind of tell it's this area is kind of. Gonna be all white there like that. Stick with that. See how I like that. What does the corner look like there? That's not bad. I kind of dig that. All right. Um. Maybe a very light blue sheet. That's good. Okay. Um. That's good. What else I want here? No. Let's try to see if I like that. Uh, let's kind of look through some uh, parts and see what we have here. Trying to see what we want. So we're gonna put some, I'll put some seats across for like sitting there, you know, somebody sitting with the person. Just a second here. I to think. Kind of want to flesh this area out. We'll put some more equipment uh, further towards the front. I don't want to spend too long in here. I just want to kind of do a little bit. Figure, do a little bit of building each time, and then it's going to, you know, we'll have more of the things we need, and, uh, you know, we'll get there. I see if there's anything else I want to put in there. Probably not right now. So um, I need to start sticking some fire extinguishers around. So this will be kind of thick brown. We got that for there. Let's do seats. All right, that's kind of for somebody to sit there and kind of hang with the person. Maybe just do two and I'll jog the, uh, yeah, we'll do two and then I'll jog this around the corner. So let's do a, do another flashlight. It's good to have multiple flashlights around. Uh, I didn't mean to do that color. I wanted this. Yeah, let's paint that orange. This one. I kind of want my flashlight in here to be that color too. And my binoculars to be, oh, come on, stuck in there in the bed. I, I imagine this is pleasant watching me go in and out of that. Very obnoxious. Okay, that's good there. And then that way we can kind of walk through the hall a little bit better. This one, I think. Like that. Maybe silver. Trying to cut that, cut up the space a little bit. And that's a gross looking silver. That's more of like a uh, hospital bed sheet color. That's better. Chrome silver there. Hmm. 
All right, just kind of breaking up the space a little bit, you know, make it feel like it's different sections of the area. Um, kind of call that cargo, whatever. All right, so let's save this. Let's go do that mission. Kind of screwed around enough. And, you know, inevitably when I do that sort of thing, I have to go back and fix everything that I just broke. But um, whatever. All right, that's working now. Excuse me. I have to duck longer. Okay, let's go in here. Hey, medical bed. All right, good. Uh, we'll do lighting later. This I have to duck to get through, so that should move up one. I'm not going to do it right now. But um, that's good to know. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's go do that um, thing. We're not going to... Uh, I kind of I kind of want to go through here, but we're going to be going 100-something knots. Let's go around. I, I really don't want to destroy my vehicle again. <laughs> You're just getting annoyed to destroy my vehicle consistently. I like to get a rescue done. We, you know, we did do a fuel mission, which was fun. But um, go ahead, set my altimeter, set my altitude to 30 feet. Let's right, let's go. Once it gets light, it wants to pick up a little bit weird. Um, I have to kind of keep an eye on that. So we're on our way. I'm going to go ahead and start. Um, I'll do it off screen you know, while I'm in third person, but I'm just pushing the propellers all the way forward. That's just going to uh, produce less heat. We're really not losing that much speed. We're going from like 170-something knots to down at 143 still a very fast speed you know my this is faster than the cormorant you know so um able to go a nice speed do i have trims in there i do not okay good all right it's starting to settle out now i have no active gyro system it um it's passive i'm not going to put an active gyro this is easy to spot all the um crates with all right we're not going to take any pictures on the way there that cost us dearly last time I was going to say, okay, that one I didn't want to do anyways. I'm trying to, okay, I'm trying not to, it's a little bit hazy out there. Do I have weather on? No, 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 no. Get out of there, fog. We're not doing this again. Not doing that again. I'll tell you that. We're going to be conservative this time, and we're not going to um, get myself crashed. Not going to do it. Go down a little bit lower. Let's go down. We're going to stay over the water. We can pretty we can we can slam into the water, and we'll be fine. As long as I get the prop shut off, uh, we'll float right back to the surface. So. Going third person, but I'm not going to use the camera. Be nice if they beef the cats. I know there are ways to delete the smoke, but I kind of, you know, part of it is you should be using the parts to get rid of it, you know, and I kind of want to use the parts, the cats to get rid of it. Um, if you notice, I have a ram on one side. That is, I have both liquid uh, uh, electric radiators and I also have air to air cooling. Uh, so, ram air cooling essentially. So, well, it's not really ram air cooling, it's coming in that right intake there and it's going through a liquid cooler and then it's um exiting there so i don't know how effective that's going to be but space wise it works i also kind of you know i like to use the parts in game so we're going to not run into that lighthouse island so this is a really good rescue vehicle you know um coming around here we're already here we're going fast 153 knots we're not putting on temp very fast because i have the prop up and you know, I'm at full throttle, but, um, you know, I can decrease it, and we end up losing temp. I'm kind of waiting till we get around here. 204 is my heading there. Once we get around this horn here, I'm going to go ahead and we'll track it. Be very careful not to crash here. Oh, damn close. All right. That's closer than I'd like. I'm going to oversteer it away. Get away from there. Come on, man. 
crash on the same island when I get the Dummy of the Year award. I have to do it. I'm sorry, people. I have to pick pictures. I need them for thumbnails, and I like to do it. It kind of reminds me of my adventures. As long as I don't crash, I think we'll be good. <laughs> So we're tracking on course. Um, again, we're homing. We're not um, doing a bearing. We don't really need to worry about going on a bearing. There's no obstacles. We hope. Says the man who hit an obstacle last time I tried to do this mission. All right, so I think I fixed the issue that's happened earlier with the autopilot. Door is fixed. Um, Build's coming along nicely. I'm really enjoying it. I've been enjoying building this one. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, this is going to be a useful vehicle, too. Um, you know, I spent a lot of time on this because I've been having so much fun building it. You know, I think that's, um, you know, it shows when you're having fun building these things. You know, I don't, you know, I, I made a rule for myself. I don't, you know, I, I stop doing it if it's not fun. And so... You know, or if I want to do something else more, I think it shows in the videos if I'm if I'm having a good time or if I'm even when I'm frustrated. Like some people, are like oh, take a break, you're frustrated. It's like uh, part of it is it's kind of the highs and the lows. Like when I get frustrated at something, um, you know, it's it's kind of pushing through to get to that point where you um, where you solve the problem. You know, it's like you have a challenging crossword or something, and you're really struggling to get the answer, and it's kind of annoying you, but then you get it, and you feel like a million bucks because you took the time, you persevered, and you pushed through it. And so that's, you know, when it's, it, you don't always need a break. You know, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. So we're getting a little close to waves here, but um, you see we're still, you have good clearance. Ooh, that one's close. Let's, let's bring it up uh, 10 feet, uh, 5 feet. Let's go up 10 feet. Ten more feet. We do have to worry about this. Um, you know, we 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 can fly like an airplane too. We're crap. I'm close. All right, I need to start slowing down. So I need to bring my prop back first. Prop needs to go. Remember, we want low pitch, high RPM. Then we're gonna start settling in the water. We pick up a lot of speed, though. We have to be careful of that. So there it is, right in front of us. Oh, don't hit it, don't hit it, don't hit it, don't hit it, don't hit it. So see how we're weather vane in the wind? I'm not doing that. It's doing it itself. And that's fine. Now, would we float like this? No, we would be heavy. But, um, you know, little planes will actually float like that, and it's terrifying. So this is probably a little bit of heavy seas for this. Um, you know, pro excessively heavy seas for this. Uh, but... We should be able to make this work. I'm going to leave the engine running. Uh, what's the temp at? All right, we're losing temp, so that should be fine. We'll leave that running. I'm like, starting to like the interior. I might do paint blocks to kind of outline that. That's what I'm going to probably end up doing. So I need to get out quick. So I need everything that I need. So I need to repair the sucker. So let's grab our torch. Let's be prepared for our mission. And I need to be able to pop this hatch, get the hell out. And it will close itself. Okay. Should be closing itself. All right. That is... So that's screwed all up. I need to fix it again. All right. Fun. Uh, that will... The bilge is going. It's just the auto door is not working. Where the hell did it go? Where the heck did it go? Oh, come on, man. Climb. Climb, you dope. Don't get stuck in the wing. A little bit heavy seas for this sort of nonsense, but um, I want to find, get up the wing, get on the roof. I'm trying to get on the roof. I'm trying to see where the hell this boat went. There it is. <laughs> That's funny. I'm going to repair it, and it's upside down, capsized. All right, let's go repair it. Uh, let's see what the hell's wrong with it. I can't see. Uh, Dashboard. It's a small boat. I'll be able to figure it out anyways, but I have to go underneath and hit this. Uh, I'm going to try to see if I can do it through the hull because I don't want to drown. Now I'm going to have to go under. Uh, uh, I need an underwater welding torch.
Trying to trying to hit it. Let me see if I can get it through the hull. You know, the main thing was getting out here is the thing I wanted to do. Um, Alright. Let's turn player damage on. Make this a... I'm not... So I'm going to grab... I'm going to heal myself, and I'm going to grab the underwater welding torch. And I'm going to grab my scuba gear. Did I put scuba gear on? I, you guys probably remember better than I do. I'm, these all kind of mush together after a while. So that should have pumped out the pumps working i just screwed up the connection when i was fix quote unquote fixing the door i know what i did as i uh disconnected it for a second fixed it and then forgot to reconnect it so i'm gonna shut the prop off there's a high probability i end up in that propeller swell don't go off the wing i need to catch you it's like in, in uh interstellar if you've saw if you have seen interstellar not if you have saw interstellar oh my god Uh, let's grab a health pack. I like the... This is a good setup the way I have it. All right. Um, there's the wave. Out. I need to shut my own door now, which I miss having the auto door, so that's going to remind me to fix it. Let's see if we can't repair this. It's 2000 bucks, you know. Um, you know, I, I made a comment on... I think it was a Star Citizen video this last week about... Somebody, you know, was like, why would you do cargo when you can make so much money doing piracy? You know, essentially was like, you know, I don't like doing meta stuff. I hate meta. Part of it's the contrarian in me. But, um, you know, part of the reason is, you know, you should do what you want to do. You should do what's fun. And, you know, a lot of people will sit there and they'll do a grind that's miserable because it makes them the most money. And, you know, if you have a goal, if you have a goal, you need the money for X, Y, or Z. Like, there were things I did that weren't my most, weren't my favorite things to do to grind up to get um, Triton in the world. Um, but, you know, I had a goal and I still enjoyed doing them. I wasn't doing things that I hated, you know. Um, there was... Oh, come on, dude. I'm, I'm above the water breathing here, man. And uh, so, you know, somebody was, was commented about Star Citizen there about that. And I wrote, it's like, you know, you should do things because you enjoy it, not because it's the meta. And frankly, I, you know, I don't really care about how much money you make doing something if it's fun. And so, like, I wanted to go do this mission. I wanted to go take this vehicle out. And I wanted to go do this type of mission where I had to go land. I'm, I'm enjoying being in, in heavy seas, even though I'm going to probably friggin' drown. But, um, you know, this is, it's a challenge. You know, it, it kind of is testing the capabilities of the vehicle, which is important to me. There we go. That's, we're starting to repair this. Um, you know, and so that's what's fun to me, you know, um, Doing what makes, you know, if, if I was going to do what made the money for me, the most money for me all the time, I would be out oil trading constantly. Never do another thing. And that is that is so boring to me. Um, you know, I understand if, like, you're in a career game and you don't have a lot of cash and, you know, coming out here and spending an hour in a tiny little rickety starter boat for two grand, I can get, I get 100%. That's annoying. Uh, but skip it, you know. Uh, go lay in a bid, um, fast, essentially accelerate time and find one that's worth your time. You know, you can, in the options, if you go in the options, again, if there's a cog, click on the cog, you can turn on where it will tell you how much a mission's worth. I turned that on. I always had that off. I just turned it on. That was something the devs had fairly recently. There's a health pack on this boat. I'm going to steal here too. I need to jump out of the water heal in the air <laughs> and so um you know once once you get a little cash you, you kind of have a little bit more freedom to go do stuff that's more fun and less uh you know it, and it kind of choose your mission even though it might not be the most profitable like that was two grand that will pay for our, our fuel we should make profit on this you know it's diesel it's not doesn't burn a ton of fuel i've been running the engine the whole time so it might be but i'm also trying to stress test these this engine and I also want to keep the electricity up. I wanted to make sure that I don't accidentally waterlog it and then I can't get it started again. So that's why I left it on. But, um, you know, so it's it, chasing metas I find is miserable. And, I, you know, if you enjoy it, great. 
Um, it's like in, in Tarkov, you know, Tarkov's the other game I play the most, and, you know, I never use meta guns. I hate them. I don't use meta ammo. I don't use, I, I sometimes use meta ammo, but I don't use meta guns. I don't use the best armor. I actually kind of run um, kind of some crap, and I like running crap because when I, when I kill somebody in Tarkov with crap and they have really good stuff, I know it was because of me. You know, if, if I have, like, the best stuff, it's like taking an Uzi to a slap fight, you know? You know, of course you won. You know, you brought an Uzi to a slap fight, you know? And it's like, that's that's more fun to me, you know, than... What is... Oh, okay, that was just a graphical glitch. All right, so I need to make sure that... So that can't... Actually, I need to open this door or else this can't... Um, okay, so yeah. So I haven't put that system in yet. So essentially all I need to do is put fluid ports through the walls... And that will allow the the liquid to run. Uh, essentially, it will act like one volume and suck it out. All right, so let's get out of here. Um, that was fun. I enjoyed that mission. I enjoyed using this. I enjoyed not crashing again. <laughs> All right, so let's let's take off like real pilots here. Let's go into the wind. As you notice, see how it automatically orients us into the wind? That's how it happens in real life. You weather vane into the wind. And so it happens on the water. It's going to happen in the air. And we want to take off into the wind. And... With this much wind, we have, see, we're, we're sitting stationary where you have 43 knots of wind. About 80 knots is where we like to take off of. I'm going to jack this up to 35. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this off. And um, we're at 45. We can get out of here. So let's go. Should get off the water really quick here. There we are. We're off already. All right. Cool. Cool beans. All right, so let's go ahead and let's set a waypoint here. I'm just going to go up here. Actually, let's do something here. Um, let's go over here. Uh, remember we had our old, our old house. Uh, I lost our old house, of course, because when uh, Industrial Frontiers came out and needed a new save, the seeds changed, which a lot of people cried about. Or I won't say cried about that. That has a negative connotation. But a lot of people um, were discouraged that... Um, like, see see here how it says how much money and how much time you have? That's an option you can turn on and off so you know what the mission is worth. Um, so a lot of people get discouraged or were discouraged when they had to redo their save. Um, I, I did some tutorials on showing how to set up custom menus, so how to do – I need to do some more, show you how to XML edit your money. Um, it can be discouraging, but um, there are a lot of games where having a um, – having a wipe – can make the game. Uh, Tarkov's like that. Every about six to eight months, there's a wipe. And everybody gets, or not everybody, but a lot of people get bored after, you know, six months, and they're like, no, oh, there's nothing to do, man. There's nothing to do. And then a wipe comes, and they're energized again. And like seven days to die, you'd spend hundreds of hours building a base that was really cool with your friends, and then a wipe comes, and or an update, you know, and it has a wipe, and you lose everything. Well, guess what? you build a better new base and you know you're kind of bored you you know you had tons of machine guns the zombies were weren't a threat anymore well now you're you know you're naked with a, a shovel in your hand and you're terrified of zombies again and that makes it fun you know and so i kind of consider this last uh major dlc update um a wipe you know and i did give myself money i did continue the career build series you know it took us a hundred hours to get Triton in. I wasn't going to go another 100 episodes. Uh, not 100 hours. 100 episodes to get that back in. Um, you know, but I... Uh, you know, so I just put the money in, but we lost some of our islands. We're now operating down here. And so what I want to do is uh, we're going to come and I want to check out these two islands. That's Coast Guard, so we're not going to go there. Uh, we'll actually go to... I think it was here. I scoped these out before... One of these is the Cavern Island, and one of them is our island. It's the same shape island that we had before. If the island is expensive, like 100 grand, usually that means it has a workbench. And so one of these islands is our shape island. And so we need that shaped island again to be able to um, put our base. And that way we can uh, we can we can buy and our house and put our house back and launch vehicles from there as well and kind of have our own little home base again, which would be fun. 
So this is a really cool vehicle. I'm loving this thing. Um, this is really nice. It, it you know, I, I tried to make sure I built it so that it wasn't OP and it can't do everything. Like I could have put landing gear on there so it lands the land. Didn't want to do that. Um, I could have made it 300 knots. I didn't want to do that. I could have made it huge and do everything. I didn't want to do that. Um, the other thing I want to do is like, so people have been talking about the Caspian Sea Monster. And I'd like to build some more Acranoplans. Um, you know, I'm going to take a break from Acranoplans from building a new one. Let's put it that way. I'm not going to go right into building another one. But at some point, if it tickles me, I'm going to probably do a big one. Uh, probably a jet turbine one. Uh, kind of like the Caspian Sea Monster, but it's not going to be, you know, a... a it's not going to be a replica, let's put it that way. Uh, it's 300 feet long anyway, so I'm not going to do that. But it would be cool to do one that could transport vehicles and cargo containers. Like, one of the points of a, a Cranel plan was that you could have... I'm just checking my distance here. Three minutes. Um, I, you, you can carry huge loads because uh, it sits in ground effect. It's really efficient. And it goes fast. And so it's essentially like a... a you know, sea-going ship, but, you know, we're doing 150 knots. And so this is going to be really fun. We should be able to rescue with this. We should be able to uh, do fuel missions with this. Uh, what is this island here? That's not our island, but uh, I'm curious what that is. I know, I'm kind of cheating. I'm using the map, but... up oh, that's an island there. What is that? I'm going to zoom in with my binoculars and see if I can't tell if that's our shape island. Oh, that's a cool island. It's barren as hell, but um, it's cool. That's a cool island. That's for sale. That's a new arid island. Very neat. I have yet to see that. I don't see a bench on it, though. Is that the one right next to us? Yeah, that's the one right next... Uh, where are we? No. No, that's the... Sorry. I was uh, confusing my waypoint for that. Are we not tracking my waypoint? We're not tracking my waypoint. That's all right. I had to get around that island anyway, so I'm tracking the waypoint now. But, uh, yeah, this vehicle's coming along really well. So, again, a lot of people, <laughs> you know, one of the ways you take care of heat is you can increase your prop pitch. That will put load in your engine, drop in your RPM. RPM is what gives you heat. Uh, you can see we're having, we're still climbing on heat, but we've been going for a while here. We're at like 80 degrees. When we stopped, we got down to like 60 something. Then I started back up. We're up to about 90 degrees, but, um, we're going to get a, where is it? Low volts. Do I not have a overheat? Okay. So I should put an overheat warning on here. I do not have that. So I have warning fuel and caution fuel. I should also put a warning overheat at battery. So that needs to go on there. And um, so what's going to happen is um, what everybody hates to do in game is drop your speed a little bit. So right now we're building temp. I'm just pressing down my arrow key. Just as you can see, reducing thrust. And uh, that will... I'm just going to go till I start losing heat. And we lost about 15 knots. So 15 knots is, neg is negligible. Um, that's really not gonna, it's not gonna cost us a lot of time. You know, these distances are short. Let's see, what's the distance here? Uh, we're 1.6 miles away. You know, that is, um, you know, uh, what's that? Third of a mile a minute. You know, so we're gonna go a third of a mile in, so we're talking, what's our time? Less than a minute, so, you know, it's, we're gonna have to go an extra third of a mile. It's nothing, you know? Um, and so that right there is going to get us to, you know, we're still gaining just a hair of heat, but let's drop it just a little bit more. And, you know, that's all it takes. And so, we, yeah, we lose a little bit of speed, but it's not a ton of speed. And, you know, you can a keep adding robust stuff. The issue you get into is with ships where you really are running the engine constantly at, at high RPM uh, and consistently. But, like, even Triton, after about, I think it's like 40 minutes... I need to add some throttle here. Uh, I'm going to go uh, low pitch, high RPM. And we're going to land here. See how it's automatically putting us into the wind? It's weather vaning. It's a little bit unrealistic because we'd be heavier than this, but, um, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not crazy. Anyway, so, like, uh, with Triton, 
it will automatically reduce the thrust um, if we start to get close to over temp and we lose all of um, I think we lose one knot of speed so they could uh, that's not the right island they could boost certainly they could boost the um, the cooling effectiveness but it's not it's not terrible um, you know you'd have to slow down every once in a while but again you're losing a couple knots you know even if you're going to the Arctic from like spy kicks the Arctic is like 45 miles uh, nautical miles so it really doesn't take all that much time uh, I think this might be our island let's check that Take off again, and we'll head that way. I, I'm keeping an eye on my fuel, but we have plenty of fuel. And we're in the air again. So see that little stutter that the engine has? Um, I have to look at that and see what that is, but it's not, not a huge deal. I'm going to go full um, prop again. Get our speed down. Take some of that temp off. You know, I, I could have made this super duper fast. I didn't want to. I kind of want to keep it reasonable. You know, the distances aren't that great. Um, you know, let's let's see. Let's get down to the point where we're not gaining any temp, and I'll figure out what the speed is. Oh, oh we'll see. Uh, we'll see how long it will take us to go all the way up there. So still gaining. There we go. We're losing now. Doing 129 knots, and we're just losing temp. Uh, it's going to take us three minutes to go four nautical miles. So, you know, I understand in ships where it, it's a problem, but a lot of, like, if you have a long ship journey in game, uh, that's a great time for me to go AFK. I love going AFK when I'm doing a ship like I did. Um, if you remember, to get Triton, we did th that last oil mission where I went up to the Arctic and I took the Damon T-800 from the Arctic down to the refinery island. And it was an eight-hour... It took eight hours, essentially, um, between filling, emptying, uh, travel, and then I was... I, I went to bed. And so it, I think it was only going to take, like, six hours, maybe maybe seven. And because I was in bed, you know, it, it ended up, t you know, taking eight hours. But, um, you know, it's... The nice thing with that is... I had it on autopilot the whole time. I went to bed, and it, it ran. You know, I used to do that with farming. Some put it, put you know, set up your vehicles, put it on autopilot, go to bed. Um, you know, and, and I made all those systems. So you know, you can make the systems and do that and go to bed. And you really only need to do that with ships. You know, and and the ships have plenty of big open spaces. You can set autopilots up. You know, if you're going to be going large ocean journey, you're going to want a big ship anyway. Um, so like that's the kind of thing. And the other thing is, you know, th that's like a once a month, maybe once every two months journey for me. You know, that was like a million dollars one run. I think it was like 789000 for one. And I didn't fill up. I didn't have enough money to fill up. Like right now I have enough cash. I could fill that up. I could make like $1.5 million doing an oil run. You know, there's our island right there. And so I don't really, um, is our heater working? I guess our engine's just making enough heat. I still haven't fixed the heater. I was like, did I fix the heater? I think that is the island that we bought. So, um, like, those sorts of things, you know, I get it. You're slow. But, um, you know, those you can automate. And so it's like, you know, I have all the autopilots for Triton. Triton will go, you know, follow the autopilot, and I can go fly off and, and Katie did or something else. And... Um, you know, and, and use the faster vehicles. So that's kind of why I built the systems that I did. Let's get ready for landing here. So let's go ahead, and that is a zero in the heading hold. Let me take the heading hold off. So this will maintain my altitude, but it'll, uh, I'll control my heading. And I'm going to descend just a little bit. The waves are much lighter now. Let's go down to 10. Oh, 10. Get these binoculars off. Oh, oh. Just need to make sure I turn away from the island. I almost crashed. And this is our island. So. I recognize it. We still have like 50 knots of wind here. <laughs> like hover mode. Alright, so I'm just going to leave this. Uh, I'm going to add 
This is asking for trouble. Uh, I'm going to add just a little bit of thrust. I'm just going to add a little bit of thrust. It should weather vane in the wind. Let's actually set a heading of 8.4. That will keep us pointed in the wind, and I've got a little bit of thrust in there. We're actually going forward a little bit. Let's tap off just a little bit of thrust, and that should allow me to just have it pretty much sit in the same position. Let's go by this island. We'll recall this into the workbench. Uh, we'll spawn our house. I was almost going to build a new house. I think at some point we'll get we'll grab another island, um, kind of in another area, uh, location. I don't want them next to each other, you know, kind of put them separate. And uh, we'll build it kind of a, I was kind of thinking of a cool modern kind of, almost like a little rescue house. That would be kind of cool. Um, this is kind of our cape house, and that will be like a different house. And, you know, it's part of exploring the different elements of the game that I really enjoy is like, you know, having a home is really cool, I think. Um, it's, it's a nice feature to have, you know. And so gives you a reason to go out there. gives you a reason to do these things. You know, you, you know, I f every once in a while I feel like working on the house. I, I Did I raise the crane? I did. I worked on this crane on one of the episodes. I raised the crane up. Um, let's go ahead and spawn it. Oh, uh, so actually one thing I wanted. I've been wanting to put this in here for a long time, and I keep forgetting. So let's build it right now. So I want to build a windsock. So I could either do it just the, so I did. I put it up there, a little airplane. I'm going to make another one, too. We'll put one something here. Okay. Max power is zero. So they have these trapezoidal things that they uh, use to um, as wind vanes, and so they will they'll do the same sort of thing. They point. Um, oh, I can't do it that direction. I can do it this direction probably though. And they'll kind of point, um, you know, the direction the wind is. So I'm gonna kind of do that. Um, that way I can do this. So. And so I'm going to try this, see if this will work. So it's kind of uh, it's a kind of a pyramid, and so they tend to put them on the ground, and they kind of point on the compass rows where they are. I've seen a couple in real life, kind of like that. I'm going to move this forward one, I think. I don't like that at all. Um, put smaller pyramids on there. Let's see if the wind, the wind should blow this and orient it for us. But this, the tail will, uh, should point where it's going, where the wind is. All right, let's try that. I'll save it real quick as Cape House. Let's spawn it. Let's see if that uh, will blow into the wind. Maybe not. This definitely is. I was hoping that would blow into the wind. I don't have infinite electricity now, do I? I do. Okay. Infinite electricity is off. That pivot should uh, hopefully rotate. Let's let's see if I can't get it to rotate. Because that should blow with the wind. Ha. All right. So that is not... Is it? That's not blowing with the wind. Well, that's too bad. Um, let's see if I can't build something to blow with the wind. We'll finish up with that, then I'll put this away. Kind of want to make something to do this. See if I can't figure out something. Uh, just make it so that as we're coming to land in on the helipad, we uh, can see. Um, it's you know kind of like a windsock. We don't have a windsock right now, so it'd be kind of nice to have a little windsock here. We have this, which I put up there so I can see where the wind's going. Um, I'd like to have a windsock as well. So, probably just not big enough to grab it at the moment, so let's try to go. Let's do this instead. 
go right there. I want a velocity, so I can go 360. Go to zero. Now let's grab our piping. Okay, and let's try to find a way to do this here. I've seen people make some wind socks, so we can get one to work. And so this will just be easier as we come into land. We can kind of see it a little bit better. See if, if this is big enough. And so this, just double check that. All right, spawn it, let's see. Does the wind catch it? Can I move it? Oh, the wind's catching it. I think the wind's catching it. Yep, wind's moving it. Perfect. There we go. It can actually stay within the wind, though. It can, it's not actually, actually, that's perfect, is it? Yeah, that's pretty close. Let's check this one. This one's right in the money, so let's get up on the roof and we'll see what our two look like here. Yeah, they're both facing the same way. Okay, good. So that's facing right there. Yeah, so that's, so that's good. So that's showing us the wind. Don't necessarily like where it's sitting, but um, yeah, that's that's pretty good. That's so that's our little windsock there. So that will, as we come into land, if you remember when I crashed, Katie did um, that would tell me to come in this way and try to hook the lugs. Probably have to hook like this with a little bit of a crosswind and hook these lugs. But yeah, so I've been wanting to add a windsock, so we have a windsock there. A little bit easier to see than that. That's not terrible, but this is easier to see. All right, so let's go get our vehicle and uh, get back in there. I'm just going to zoom in there. Uh, the rudder is uh, is turning to try to maintain heading. I don't know how much fuel you used, but uh, I don't really care either. Um, let's see if I can't. I need to make sure I can steer this. So let's shut off the autopilot. I might struggle... Um, turning around in this wind and having it push my tail. It might try to keep pushing me in, but I can back this up. So let's go try to go forward, and then if we have issues, we'll back up. So let's go down to 10% on the propeller. Let's go full left rudder. Start to power up. And see if the wind will push us. Can't go too fast. Uh, like I was saying before, my my fins there in the water um, come out. All right, so this doesn't want me to. I don't have enough rudder to get out of the out of the um, out of the wind, but I can go backwards. So yeah, so I'm gonna go backwards. I just need to get close enough to the workbench. See where the refinery island is. We're close to the refinery, Alan. That's awesome. Oh, I'm pushing the wrong button. I was pushing, uh, I was decreasing throttle. No wonder I wasn't moving. All right, so we're going backwards. So we'll just go with the wind. Um, I actually steer a little bit better going backwards because um, when I go forward, it's picking me up out of the water. I started doing a system where um, it was, you know, I... Um, it was keeping me in the water a little bit more. It, so I essentially, I use a bunch of fins hidden in these pontoons that um, simulate the ground effect. And they also help me get up on plane because you'd skip over the water um, naturally. And so I'm using those fins to do it. And it takes me out of the water pretty early. I kind of, I might do it so that I have to get up to like 30 miles an hour before um, it will actually activate those, but I have to see if I can even do that. The drag is pretty ridiculous. All right, so just backing it up, backing it up. Uh, we have our new house. Uh, I know you guys have the picture here. There we go. 
I'll, I'll give you this guy. It was this one as a teaser, especially because you can see what's in the background. So the refinery island's back there. So this is gonna be this is gonna be a good time having that there. Uh, be easy for us to run. Oh, the other thing is, um, I'm actually glad we have a bit of fuel on. How much? I have 200 gallons. We don't have a ton, but um, now we can put that in this workbench. So I'm not 100% sure we we can put the fuel in these workbenches, but um, you know we need some fuel in the workbench to be able to spawn our stuff. So we're doing a good job backing up. It's just that issue, like I said, that um, once those fins on the uh, pontoons come out of the water, it's hard for me to taxi on the water. We're slowing down a little bit here, trying to get us in there. Need be, I'll spawn a boat and drag us in. I don't actually have any connectors, so I need to put on some rope anchors. Can I spawn this sucker? Or can I grab it? We're nowhere near where I need to be, but... Um, let's do this. Excuse me. Trying to fly the propeller. Nice, got it. Okay, I think it was just there. Um, so that's awesome, man. This is really working well. I'm loving this build. Um... This one took some work. It was, like, as you can see, I have one named a Cranal Plan, not working. I tried putting in my stability system. I was trying to get rid of the stock gyro. Um, usually I have no problem with it. This one wasn't bad. It just took me a little while to tweak it. But um, I tried putting in the fencer's gyro that I built, and um, that was really giving me problems. It's just, it's tuned up for the fencer, and it just was not, not liking this. But... Cool to have a windsock. I'm liking a windsock. I might um, redo the way I'm doing this. Um, but really enjoyed this. This was a good, you know, this has been a fun build. Uh, we'll, we'll diversify gameplay a little bit. I missed the old house. You know, this is one of the reasons why people are asking, like, oh, why didn't you start over when the new island came out? Is This is just too much work here. You know, I, I put in a lot of effort and work in this, and I, you know, I, I like the house, and I, you know, didn't want to restart it. And I kind of want to keep some continuity where... You know, this is our old home, you know, and so let's look at the map really quick. So we have our new home here. We have uh, the refinery island here. Kind of just check and see. I'm curious where oil is. So we have some other cool. Uh, there's the the buy rig. Um, I think it's where is it? I thought I saw it before. I be I just want to spot that really quick. Um, Hospital boat. Curious where the rigs are. You know, we can get back into some mining. I'm definitely I'm gonna play with what I what I'm having fun doing. Um, I think that's the best way to do it. You know, I could you know if I kind of force myself to do a certain type of gameplay and it's not fun, it just you know it's not fun. And the point of this is to be fun. And so I'm really enjoyed that. That's why there were so many episodes on this. Um, on the Akrana plan. Uh, a lot of people seemed interested in it. I've been definitely interested in it. So it was a lot of fun. Let's check. We have a oil gantry here for 65 cents. We have one over here for 53 cents. So we don't have any close, but, um, you know, that's actually, I'm actually kind of digging that. I liked having the triangle we had. It was up here um, to do oil. The issue was we weren't making that much money doing it uh, because they were so close together. I think it's based on distance. Like this one is further than this one, I think, uh, so money-wise. But that's still a good distance for us to take the T-800 or, uh, you know, a, a tug with a barge. I didn't gift myself as much money as I had before I started the new save. And part of the reason was I wanted us to struggle a little bit. I want us to need to get money. And so... We should be doing well with what we have here. Really loving the new Akrana plan, especially the ability f to go get diesel. I'm not putting oil in its tanks. I can't, it, It's and I don't want to. Um, it's supposed to only hold diesel. So that's my diesel workhorse. Um, let's check the workbench here. So, yeah, I'm just trying to understand how that works with the diesel and everything. But, uh, so we're home. We're back at our home base. And so I'm thrilled to be here. Uh, kind of getting back in here, and so I don't know what the next episode is going to do. You know, I'm kind of feeling doing some other stuff. Um, you know, Krana plans in good shape, um, and uh, we'll definitely see you guys in the next one. I appreciate you guys uh, for everybody who subbed and everybody who's, uh, you know, uh, followed me along the way, and um, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.